Hey, what's up, Cajon players? I hope you are doing great. Today, I'm going to test and review a Cajon from the German brand Schlagwer. This is the precise OS EVO Cajon. There are two models in this line, the Walnut Deluxe and the Black model. In this video, I'm going to test the EVO Black model. So, without further ado, let's check the specifications of the Cajon. So, let's go to the Schlagwerk website. This Cajon is 100% handmade in Germany. The body of this Cajon is made of 20mm solid smoked alder wood, beech wood in the back, and a three-ply gabon wood in the front plate. According to the website, the solid alder body offers controlled, very dry base without cross-talking snare noise. Let's see that. This cajon has two sets of four cajon wires or strings, and each set of wires is individually tunable. It comes with a tuning key located in the back of the cajon. This model, the EVO Black, comes with a bass tube, specially created to increase the low frequency of the cajon. I must say that I'm very curious to listen how it sounds with the bass tube. It also comes with a wool felt cajon seat. The size of this cajon is around 50 cm high by 30 cm wide by 30 cm deep. Now let's see the price. This cajon costs around 480 euros in Europe and 650 dollars in the US. I have included all links in the description below if after watching this video you decide to purchase it. So now let's see how it sounds. The microphones I'm using for the test are the Shure SM57 in the front, Shure Beta 52 in the back, and a pair of Behringer C2 overheads. I'm going to show the sound test of the Cajon, first without the Cajon tube, the bass tube, and then after with the bass tube, for you to hear the differences. Now I'm going to improvise a little bit for you to listen how it sounds in a more musical context.
Let's start talking about the bass sound. The natural bass sound is nice, not too boomy, and there is just a little bit of sizzle sound from the string. The bass sound with the bass tube is completely different. It sounds like it has a compressor with a much lower frequency. It's very interesting because even if it is a flamenco type cajon with strings in the inside, with the bass tube it sounds more like a snare cajon with more separation between snare and bass. I think the bass tube is a plus. It works fine especially if you are using microphones in the back hole of the cajon. I think it's a good option to have. The snare sound has a high pitch with a nice tone. But I have to say that I missed a little bit more of sensitivity, especially to play in a low volume and also when I play finger rolls. We are talking here about a professional cajon, so I miss this sensitivity a little bit. The sides of the cajon have a beautiful tone produced by this solid wood. I think it always works great, the side tones when we play the sides of the cajon, when the cajon is made of solid wood. The cajon looks very nice with this black front plate and the little details. I like it. So these were my thoughts about the cajon. Now I want to hear from you. Leave your comment below with all your opinions about this cajon. If you are interested in purchasing this model, you can use the links I have included in the description below. I would like to thank Schlagwerk to have sent this cajon for review. Thanks a lot. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. Go ahead and share this video with other Cajon players and anyone else that might be interested. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in the next video.